presidential candidate of the Labour Party and a former governor of Anambra State, Mr. Peter Robi, has asked President Bola Metinibu to immediately reverse the sudden increase in the price of fuel, which, according to Peter Robi, has further added to the hardship faced by Nigerians. Peter Robi described the sudden increase by the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited (NNPCL) as insensitive, saying there is growing confusion about the role of NNPCL and the regulatory bodies in determining the price of fuel in the country. Peter Robi would express his dissatisfaction via his verified handle on X, said Nigerians continue to groan under extremely difficult economic conditions, largely caused by the federal government's wrong policies choices. Peter Robi wrote, as Nigerians continue to groan under extremely difficult economic conditions, largely caused by the federal government's wrong policy choices, the NNPCA has once again raised the price of fuel PMS without providing any explanation. This is both unfortunate and insensitive considering the wide-ranging negative consequences for our economic survival and well-being. This is neither how an economy's resources should be managed nor how a nation should be governed. In this new measure, there is neither sound economic nor necessary compassion. Peter Robi further went on to say, with the unprecedented but avoidable hardship that Nigerians are enduring, the responsibility for providing a full explanation, offering alternative options, and most importantly, reversing the sudden price hike falls squarely on the Honorable Minister of Petroleum Resources or the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We hope and pray that he acts in the best interest of the majority of Nigerians who are living under unnecessarily precarious conditions and that he does so before his return from his working vacation. To casually inflict such a draconian measure on the populace from the comfort of an annual vacation amount to taking the people's welfare lightly and for granted, a new and more compassionate Nigeria is indeed possible. I agree with everything that Mr. P2B has said so far, but where I do not agree with him is where he said he hope and pray that Mr. President will reverse the fuel price hike on his return from his working vacation. Bolami Etinibu has shown time and again that he does things without considering the pains of Nigerians. Even if you give Bolami Etinibu 20 years in office, he will never do the right thing for the people of Nigeria. Bolami Etinibu has been in office for one year and some months and he has never done any single thing that is right in Nigeria. He has never introduced any policies that will help to alleviate the suffering of Nigerians, that will improve the quality of life of Nigerians. Everything he has done so far is to take away from Nigerians and equally add more misery and pains on them. So hoping and praying that Bola Metinibu do the right thing is like trying to pluck the sky with your bare hand. It is a Herculean tax. Bola Metinibu will never do the right thing because he does not even know the right thing to do. Bola Metinibu is wicked, insensitive, inconsiderate, soulless. He is not ready for governance. He didn't come to change the life of Nigerians. All Bola Metinibu is there to do is to add more pains and miseries on Nigeria. He does not know of anything positive that he is going to do to affect the life of Nigerians positively. The more we complain, the more we talk on social media, the more we give him more time to do the right thing, the more the life of Nigerians keep getting worse. The best thing for Nigerians to do is to act. Act aggressively against the government that is out to destroy your life. And this is the time I need to call on Mr. Peter Robi and other opposition parties in this country. They should hit the street. Organize protests against the government. This is the time they need to lead from the front. We saw what APC did in 2015, how they campaigned and protested against Gulok Ebele Jonathan. They were writing on the piece of paper. They were writing editorials every day against Gulok Ebele Jonathan. The sponsor of all manner of media attack against Gulok Ebele Jonathan, but it did not work. But once the first subsidy was removed, they organized Nigerians, hit the street and protested for one full week. And that protest had a very, very negative effect on the administration of Good Luck Ebele Jonathan. He had to reverse the first subsidy after one week of that protest because the protest hit him so hard. This is what all the opposition leaders in this country need to do. There is no crime in protesting. Leaving the protest on Nigerians is not going to yield any meaningful result. 
we saw what happened on the 1st of August when Nigerians protested. The police unleashed violence on Nigerians. I can tell you, if this protest is being led by Atiku Abubakar, Rabbi Musa Kwankwasu, and Mr. Peter Robi leading the front on the protest, the police will have nothing to do against the people. The police will not attack Peter Robi, Kwankwasu, or Atiku Abubakar because attacking these men is attacking a whole region. You are attacking the north, you are attacking the south. The situation in this country has gone way beyond allowing the citizens to go and protest or allowing them to keep complaining on social media. Political opposition leaders in this country need to take the necessary step to challenge this draconian rule of APC and the time is now. And of course, the citizens are there to support and back them in every of their move. Most of you are celebrating the election that happened in Senegal that a 44-year-old Diamayo Faye became the president of Senegal. If you are celebrating what happened in Senegal, you also need to understand that that didn't come cheap. Jamayo Fire as an opposition leader did not just rely on criticizing the government of Senegal on social media. He knows that African leaders are very stubborn and they do not understand social media criticism. All they understand is violence. You need to use violence to meet an African leader Dracona law. The government of Senegal led by Marquez Sale suspended the election in Senegal indefinitely because he wanted to return for a third term. Jamayo Faye organized his supporters and they went on the street to protest. He was arrested and incarcerated. This man stayed in prison even when the election was about to be conducted. He was only released a few weeks to the conduct of that election and he won that election overwhelmingly. Bolame Tinibu is not willing to do the right thing and we need to understand that. He is not even willing to conduct a very credible election. We also need to understand that. Body language, his policies, his actions and inactions have shown that he is not even ready to do the right thing for Nigerians. At 2027 general election, he do not even give a hoot about Nigerians vote. Bolame Tinibu is going to rig his way again into office and are we going to fold our hands and watch him do do that that means we are going to extend the suffering of nigerians for another four years there is no explanation to why nigerians should be buying fuel costly An opec producing nation we should be getting these items cheap because fuel is one out of the hundreds of byproducts that is gotten from crude oil why then should this thing be so expensive in our own country there is no explanation to all of this the government is simply being insensitive the government is simply being incompetent and we should not allow an incompetent government to continue unleashing pains on Nigerians. The why Tinibu is doing everything he's doing is because there is no youth resistance from the people. Don't tell me about the August 1st protest. That August 1st protest did not yield any meaningful result because after the protest, the planners of that protest were incarcerated and they were even charged for treason. You also that many people boycotted that protest. We should not treat the administration of Bola Tinibu with kid glove. We should resist everything that he's throwing at Nigerians because enough is enough. I still find it difficult to understand how Nigerians are adjusting to this suffering. I still find it difficult to understand how they are so calm and cool with the government of Bolame and Tinibu. Tinibu is sucking the life dry out of Nigerians and people are just going about their businesses as if everything is calm. There is nothing normal, there is nothing calm in this country. Everything has gone haywire. People are suffering, there is hardship in the land, there is inflation. People can barely afford to eat anymore in this country and it has been predicted that Nigeria will soon experience famine and we are so calm. Come on! It's high time we all rose up and challenged this draconian regime of Bola Tinibu. And for us to do that, these opposition leaders, they must be at the war front because you cannot ask the citizens to go and protest against this incompetent government and you will come around to become the president. No. If you want to be the president, you need to take the bull by the horn. They need to lead the next protest. I am talking about Atiku Abubakar, Peter Robi, Shorere, Kwan Kwanso, and other opposition leaders in this country that care about this country. Enough of criticizing the government on social media. We have been criticizing APC since their inception in 2015 and nothing has changed. APC has gone from bad to worse. In our very eyes while criticizing APC, APC has destroyed the best economy in Africa, the third fastest growing economy in the world. APC has destroyed all the institutions in this country. APC has become a dictatorial party. They have shown that they don't even want any form of criticism. Once you criticize them, they will come with a counter-criticism and a propaganda. 
If you give APC what it needs, and that is a very strong resistance, that is a very strong protest against them. Everyone needs to be on board, the citizens, the politicians, we all need to come out en masse and ensure that we overthrow this APC government because enough is enough. We can't continue like this. Things are getting bad on a daily basis and all we do is to shout on social media, is to complain about them. Complain, criticism will not solve the issue. We need to rise up against this draconian rule of APC and Bola Meltinibu and that time is now. Thank you for watching, I will see you in the next video.